As we look also towards the end of the week, we do see a much more comfortable weather on the way. But first, we have to get through the next couple days uh, as we do have that humidity staying somewhat high through Friday. And then some rain and storms may come through, which could slow down holiday travel a little at the end of the work week. That all leads up to a dry, much less humid, gorgeous uh, forecast for the holiday weekend itself. First up, though, a little fog possible late overnight as uh, so we've got calm conditions. We have very humid air. That's a good recipe for at least some patchy fog, and you'll see here on future track that uh, that fog uh, may be a little more widespread as we go into early tomorrow morning. You see visibility may be down to around a mile. It'll continue through about 8 a.m. and then it quickly clears out from there. So those early morning hours may be a little on the murky and definitely watch out for that as you get ready for work or you're sending the kids off to school. Some areas of fog could slow you down temperature wise upper 60s, so a little cooler into tomorrow morning, but it's going to remain kind of stuffy just because of how humid conditions are. We then warm up pretty quickly from there. We'll see a little more sunshine by the middle of the morning and then heading into the afternoon middle 80s like we saw today may feel like the 90s though with that humid air uh, sticking around, but it's not nearly like what we saw as of yesterday or the day before. So at least we still have that somewhat improvement ahead in the forecast. Cast. Then we go into late tomorrow night, early Friday morning. A cold front comes through and that'll help start ushering out some of that high humidity. That said, west of I-39, there may be some strong to severe storms very early in the morning. Wind and hail are the main threats here. So as you look to future track, showers and storms hold off throughout much of Thursday itself. We head into Friday morning. These storms may be arriving on a weakening trend, but we can't completely rule out a strong storm or two at around 4 a.m. We'll continue to have those showers and storms early in the day. So if you are heading out uh, for the holiday weekend, uh, probably won't uh, be looking at dry roads until we get to about 10 o'clock or so. That's when the showers and storms look to exit. May have some on and off light rainfall later on in the afternoon, but for the most part, uh, the main event is over. And then we steadily dry out from there for Friday evening and the rest of the holiday weekend. So as you plan your travel, a few storms very early in the morning may still see some wet roads and patches by the early afternoon. After that, drying out and clearing out, leading up to a very comfortable holiday weekend. So temperature wise, we stay near average for the next several days. You'll notice a difference in the humidity by Saturday and then really looking fall like as we go through the rest of the holiday weekend and into early next week. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, September still provides a little heat early. You can see some 80s in there and not much for rain chances. So we've got another dry stretch light leading up uh, around the corner through the holiday weekend and into next week. And the four degree guarantee, a degree off the bullseye today, pushing that cash total up over $200.